guys, the earliest I can do Mario Kart 7 is on Tuesday because my parents' mum is in Belgium and her house is where Mario Kart 7 is kept. So, if, so, just to keep you occupied, I'm going to upload part 2 of Horrid Henry. Horrid Henry's dance class. Stomp, 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 stomp. Horrid Henry was practicing his elephant dance. Perfect Peter was practicing his raindrop dance. Peter was practicing being a drink raindrop for his dance class show. Henry was also supposed to be practicing a raindrop. But Henry did not want to be a raindrop. He didn't want to be a tomato, a string bean, or a banana either. Stomp, 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 went Henry's boots. Tap, tap. When Peter tap shoes. You're doing it wrong, Henry, said Peter. No, I'm not, said Henry. You are too, said Peter. We're supposed to be raindrops. Stomp, 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 went Henry's boots. He was an elephant smashing his way through the jungle. Travelling on anyone who stood his way. I can't concentrate with you stomping, said Peter. And I have to practice my solo. Who cares? screamed Toy Henry. I hate dancing. I hate dance club. And most of all, I hate you. This was not entirely true. Toy Henry loved dancing. Henry danced in his bedroom. Henry danced up and down the stairs. He danced on the new sofa and on the kitchen table. What Henry hated was having to dance with other children. Can I go to karate instead? asked Henry ever sa every Saturday. No, said Mum. Too violent. Judo, said Henry. N O spells no, said Dad. So every Saturday morning at 9:45 p.m., Henry and Peter's father drove them to Miss Impatient Tutu's dance studio. Impatience to do a skinny and skinny bony. She had long skin, stringy grey hair. Her nose was sharp, her elbows were pointy, her knees were knobbly. No one had ever seen her smile. This is because she hated teaching, noise, children, and most of all, Horrid Henry. This was not surprising. When Miss Tutu shouted, Class, lift your left leg. Eleven left legs lifted. Let's see. One white leg sagged to the floor. When Miss Tutu screamed, heel toe, heel toe. Eleven dainty feet tapped away. One clumpy foot stomped, toe, heel, toe, heel. When she bellowed, class, skip to your right. Eleven bodies turned to the right and one body galumped to the left. Naturally, no one not wanted to dance with Henry or indeed anywhere near Henry. Today's class unfortunately was no different. Miss Tutu, Henry is treading on my toe, said John and Jeffrey. Miss Tutu, Henry's kicking my leg said Lazy Linda. Miss Tutu, Henry is bumping me, said Ben Boiler. Henry switched, Miss Tutu. Yes, said Henry. I am a patient woman, and you are trying my patience to the limit. Any more bad behaviour and you'll be very sorry. What will happen? I told Henry. She took, she did, she then did this. Another day, he stood on the side, gnashing his teeth, pretending that he was an enormous crocodile.
crocodile about to gobble up Miss Tutu. This is our final rehearsal before the show, barked Miss Tutu. Everything must be perfect. Eleven faces stared at Miss Tutu. One face scowled at the floor. Guess who's? Tomatoes and beans to the front. When Mrs. Funpluck plays the music, everyone will stretch out their arms to the sky to kiss the morning hello. Raindrops stand at the back next to the giant green leaves and wait until the beans find the magic bananas. And Henry try to get it right. Spat to me, spatalax. Positions, everybody. He, the tomato weaves in and out, trying for bananas. Pirouetted. The beans pirouetted. The bananas pointed their toes and swayed. Raindrops did the pattern. All except one. Henry waved his arms frantically and waved around the room. Then he crashed into the bean. Sit in the corner! Screeched Miss Tutu. Henry was delighted. He sat in the corner while Peter did his raindrops on him. Miss Tutu asked Peter. Perfect, Peter, as always, she said. Then she saw Henry slouching on the chair. Her mouth dropped. Miss Tutu tucked Henry off the chair. She shoved him to the very back of the stage. Then she put him behind a giant green leaf. Stand there, shouted Miss Tutu. Wet, but no one will see me here, said Henry. Precisely, said Miss Tutu. It was showtime. The curtain was about to rise. The children stood quietly on the stage. Perfect. Peter was so excited she, he always backed up and down. Henry was not very excited. The curtain went up. Henry's mum and dad were in the audience with the open. As usual, they sat in the back row in case they needed to make a quick getaway. They smiled and waved at Peter, standing proudly at the front. Can you see Henry? whispered Chris, Henry's mum. Dad pointed at the stage. A tuft of hair stuck up from behind the leaves. Oh, my Henry's hiding, said Mum. Look like him to be shy. Henry watched the tomatoes and Robin to searching for the magic bananas. I'm not staying back here, he thought, and pushed his way through the raindrop. Stop pushing Henry, said Linda. Who wants to be a raindrop anyway? I mean, I can do it. I like him here. Yeah. Holy Henry then flapped his arms and pretended that he was a pterodactyl went about to pounce on Miss Tutu. Round and round he flew, homing in on his prey. Henry Peter stepped, stepped to the to the front and began his raindrop solo. Wild buffalo dance. The curtain fell. Oh. No one clapped except Henry's parents for a short time. All the parents ran up to Miss Tutu and started shouting. Henry! Switched Miss Tutu. Leave my dance studio at once! Robbie! Shouted Henry. He knew that next Saturday he would be at karate at last. Horrid Henry and Moody Margaret. I'm Captain Hook. No, I'm Captain Hook. I'm Captain Hook, said Tom Henry. I'm Captain Hook, said Moody Margaret. They glared at each other. It's my hook, said Moody Margaret. Moody Margaret lived next door. She did not like Horrid Henry, and Horrid Henry did not like her. Unfortunately, we're at a time here on V2 Thomas Blue, so... Bye!